Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different and show you guys my top 24 favorite minifigures. Now these either have some sort of sentimental value or actual marketplace value that just like make them my favorite figures, and they're all just pretty unique and different in their own special way, so I just wanted to showcase them for you guys. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you all so much for subscribing and everything. I just hit 160 subscribers yesterday. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. Like, it means a lot to me. I really didn't expect this channel to, like, get that many subscribers this fast, starting a little less than a month ago. And it's just crazy how fast it's blown up and how many of you guys consistently watch and everything. It's just incredible. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. And let's get right into these minifigures. So starting up here, these are the original versions of the Celebration Luke and Han from the end of Episode 4. And I got these in, like, some sort of visual dictionaries or something that came out a way long time ago. And these are actually my first versions of each of these minifigures. I got these when I was just becoming a fan of Star Wars, and it was really cool to get these. And these have kind of gone up in value. I'm not really sure where they're at now with the new Yavin set coming out with an updated version of these minifigures, but I just think they're really cool, and I like the printing on each torso, obviously. No back printing because these were released years and years ago. And yeah, these are just really nice figures. I like that jacket that comes on Luke. Not a fan of that hair piece, though. I'm glad they finally modernized that and just did away with that hair piece. I didn't really like it at the time, either. Also, like, the leg printing there on Luke and Han. Really nice belt and hip printing. Up next, we have the original version of Indiana Jones. And I got this minifigure from my neighbor, actually, a few... Not a few years ago, but a long time ago, he gave me some, like, Lego that he had, like, that he didn't want anymore, because he was just growing out of it. So he gave it all to me, and this was one of the minifigures that came in that giant bin. I believe there are some more figures like that later on in this video, but I just really like this figure a lot. I love Indiana Jones, and it's just really cool to have this older version in my collection. He's got that iconic whip that he has in the movies, as well as that really nice um, torso print with a leather jacket. And surprisingly, there are no cracks on this minifigure. If you don't know, the dark brown colors and everything are really frail and like, break off very easily like they can snap or whatnot but this figure has held up really well for you know considering all those things but i like to be delicate with it and just be careful with it anyways up next here we have et the extraterrestrial and this is from the dimensions wave of sets i love getting that those sets and everything that game was just really fun i enjoyed playing it a lot when i was younger and he got some really nice minifigures from that, too. I really like this minifigure. I can never see them doing anything like this again unless it was for an ideas set. Sort of like we got with Sonic a few years ago, but now he has his own theme. But this figure is just incredible. You get that specialized head mold and also some back printing on there. As well as those short legs with nothing on them. But you get that really nice torso print of his stomach and that really nice smile. This is just such an amazing figure. And I'm so happy we got an E.T. minifigure for Lego. Up next, we have the original um, Yoda minifigure. I'm not too sure what set this came from, but I did get it off a Whatnot live stream. So I did not like have this minifigure growing up or anything. It was just something I bought a few months back. But I just really like this minifigure anyways. You can kind of see he does have a little crack there on his arm, but... For me, it's just kind of displayed anyways. I really like Yoda. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, and I also just love that head so much. And it has kind of held up today. If it had printing, it obviously would look better. But, you know, I just have the figure right here anyway. So let's just bring in the newest version of Yoda with the High Republic sort of theme from the Jedi Temple I reviewed a few days ago. And you can see a big difference. Obviously, that head mold's brand new, but... Just thought it would be nice to see how far the figure has come. Up next, we have the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, this is a minifigure that I did modify and upgrade. You can also watch that video here on my channel. 
but I like this figure a lot, especially after I upgraded him with those black boots. I just think they really add a whole lot to the figure and just, I don't know, make it look a lot more like an Imperial officer, I guess. But if this is just a nice figure, and I really hope we get to see another version of this soon, especially with Ahsoka coming out in like two weeks now. I don't know, I just really like this figure a lot too. Love that head print, and as well as that um, Widow's Peak hair and that dark blue. And you get that really nice torso print too. Up next here is probably one of my favorite Marvel minifigures of all time. This is the Sam Wilson Captain America from the CMF series that came out, I believe it was last summer, but I just can't praise this figure enough. It is just so incredible with the arm and leg printing, and they are both a dual molded too. Like, it's just incredible. I remember when this figure got leaked, and I thought it was like some sort of fake or a custom that someone made, but no, this is official Lego. Like, they went all out with this figure's arm printing and the leg printing on the sides, and you also get this brand new wing piece with the red wing on that tile. Like, this figure is just incredible. And that shield piece is a new print as well that we also got for Bucky in the same wave. But I just can't express my love for this figure enough. I think we are going to get more versions of this minifigure. But I doubt we'll ever get one to the extent of printing and quality like we did on this one ever again. Because it's just so incredible. I hope we see this figure again. But I don't think we will. And it's just so incredible looking. Up next, I'm just going to do these figures at the same time because I did already review these figures in the No Way Home Final Battle set. But these are the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield versions of Spider-Man. And they came in that amazing set. Like, oh man, for 110 bucks, you get all three Spider-Man and some other amazing minifigures. Like, who could say no to that? And also, first time getting both these minifigures in years and with Andrew Garfield being a Comic-Con exclusive before this, like, who could say no to that? I just love the level of detailing on these figures, and also getting dual molded leg prints for both of them is just incredible. I did modify the Andrew Garfield one a little bit with the legs and the head and the arms. You can check out that video as well if you wanted to, but these figures are just fantastic. So these minifigures, I won't take too much time to talk about. These are really sentimental minifigures to me. These were my first ever Star Wars minifigures, and I got them in one of those older watch sets. Like, it came with the watch and, like, a minifigure or something. And the one that I got came with both of these. I'm not going to spend too much time on these minifigures because that's going to be its own video coming out in a little bit. But, yeah, these are really nice minifigures with the original Darth Vader. You get that... Oops. You get that gray headpiece underneath with that scarring just looks really nice no back printing on either of them though because these are from like 2013 so not super uncommon but these are the figures that started it all for me up next is another darth vader this is the christmas sweater version from the advent calendar that released a few years ago and i just really like this figure because of that sweater and i love that they're like continuing that sort of theme with all the advent calendars and we're getting that palpatine one this year but you can see that Death Star on there. That looks really cool. I don't know. I just really like this figure a lot. I think it was, like, really creative. And a lot better than those weirder Santa Claus ones we got every year beforehand. I just think this is better and just a lot more original. Up next here is Princess Leia. And this figure is just really cool to me. Because when I first started getting into Star Wars, it was kind of harder to get a Princess Leia minifigure. Like, she didn't come in a lot of cheaper, like, sort of play sets. Like, little kid me wasn't able to go out and buy the UCS Death Star and get a Princess Leia. So, I had to wait for cheaper sets. And the original Princess Leia I bought was off Amazon. I don't know what happened to that minifigure anymore, but after a while, I was finally able to get, like, an actual set with her in it. And that was the Tantive. And I also have another figure coming up from that set. But this figure is just amazing. I love the dress piece with the printing on the back. And this is just such an amazing minifigure. Leia is one of my favorite characters anyways. She's just so cool. But yeah, I just love this minifigure a lot. And I'm so happy to finally have 
her like from an actual set. Up next here is Emmett from the Lego movie. Now there's nothing really unique about this minifigure. Like it's just a pretty basic design that came in all the sets. But I did change out that head to give it a more classic Lego look. But really what's important to me about this minifigure is that's kind of where it started for me with Lego. Like I had some city sets beforehand, but watching this movie and everything is really what sent me down that path of like doing a lot more with Lego. Like I bought all the Lego movie sets and then I would like start getting into Ninjago and then I would start getting into Star Wars and then Marvel and now I'm here. Like, without that movie and stuff, I probably would be doing something completely different. And I like to pay tribute to that by displaying this minifigure. Up next is the panda suit guy from the Lego movie CMF minifigures. Now, this was the only um, Lego movie CMF figure that I ever got. I remember when that movie came out and everything and was so popular and everything. You could not find these where I lived. Like, I tried. We went to a bunch of different stores. But this was the only one I could ever find. So I have none of the other um, Lego Movie CMFs. This is the only one I have. And I just kind of like to display them for that. And I also really like pandas. So this is a really cute minifigure to have on display anyways. I think it's just a really good figure in general. There was a time when I wanted to collect all the animal suit people. But that just never happened. You do get that really nice face print underneath. And this is just such a really cute minifigure, and I just like to have it on display. Up next, this was a white whale of mine for as long as I can remember. When this minifigure series came out when I was a kid, this was the only minifigure I wanted from that series, the Gingerbread Man. I also did have the Elf, which I think is from that same series, but this was the one I wanted for so long, and I was actually finally able to get it a few months ago on Whatnot. I won it in an auction for like $4, so... I was really happy to finally have it. He's got that really nice um, coffee mug that says Dunk Me. And he also has some arm printing, which was pretty rare back in those days. Like, it's not as common as it is now. But I just really wanted this minifigure for a long time, and I'm so happy I finally have it. Up next is a really special figure to me as well. This is the Arc Trooper from that old battle pack from a long time ago. This minifigure is just incredible because of that helmet like that is a unique helmet we've never gotten anyplace else i just love the way it's done and also the waist cape and the arm cape piece on there is in pristine condition like it is pretty much like out of the box new and under there i did change the head i gave him the more modernized clone look but this mini figure is just incredible and i'm so happy to have it in my club next here is the original Phase 2 Clone Trooper. This is from like 2005, which is also the year I was born. So I thought it was cool to have this one displayed. I just really like the way these figures were made. Obviously, they're not as good as the ones that are coming out today. But I do think it's pretty unique and we'll never see that mold again for sure. Nothing unique under the helmet either. Just a black head. But it's such a cool minifigure and I figured why not keep it on display. Up next is Vi Marathi from the Resistance ITS Transport set. This figure and set were kind of overlooked for a really long time when they came out, but I really had a soft spot for it because I have gone to Galaxy's Edge and everything, and I've met Vi Marathi at the park and everything, so I liked having the figure to just kind of remind me of that visit. And it's just a really nice figure too with that really nice jacket print as well as that hair piece. I don't think we'll ever see a hair piece like that again with that really nice blue on the bottom and black on top. The jacket's pretty cool too. I like how you have the starboard right there on the side. But yeah, I just really like this minifigure and it's cool to have that sort of memory of going to Galaxy's Edge. Up next, here's one of the more valuable minifigures in this collection alongside Thrawn. This is Bail Organa who also came in the Tantive as along with um, Leia. And this is just a really nice minifigure. I just happen to like the character anyways, but also it is pretty cool to have such a valuable minifigure. And that really nice green cape is really cool too, as well as that hair and head combo. Up next is this director minifigure. This was also from my neighbor when he gave me a bunch of his old Lego. 
Now, I'm not sure if this was actually labeled as Steven Spielberg or if it was just trying to, like, replicate that from the sets, but I do have all the pieces for this minifigure. It is pretty worn, as you can see. Like, that torso is yellowed, and it's supposed to be a clean white, like those arms, but you can't be too picky. Like, it is a really nice minifigure. I do like the front and the back with the director, and that head print is unique. You also get... Not too sure what the actual Hollywood term is, but you do get this thing. Like, you can yell action, you can close the thing. I just think that's really cool, and I'm happy to have this figure. Up next is Golden Lloyd from Ninjago. This figure did come out in two sets back in 2013, and I was lucky enough to have both of them. This is just such an amazing minifigure, and it would be cool to finally get one of these in that sort of chrome gold like we got for those promotional C-3PO's. I don't think that'll ever happen just because this figure is older now, but this is such an amazing figure. You can see on the arms that he does have a lot of like cracking and stuff. That was all just from play from when I was a little kid. Like that stuff is gonna happen. It is a shame though, because this is such an amazing figure, but it doesn't get played with as much anymore because he is on display. Next up is our second to last minifigure. This is Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. And I got this minifigure back in 2016 from the advent calendar. And I have some really good memories of this. This was my first version of this minifigure that I got. And I was just really happy to finally get this in minifigure form. And I remember the day I actually got this off the advent calendar. It was when I went to go see Rogue One. So I got two really good memories that day. This is just such an amazing minifigure. You can kind of see on the arms that he is a little bit cracked. And I think on the torso he is a little bit too on the sides again that's just play wear and stuff from when i was younger and i would probably play a little bit too rough with these minifigures yeah you can kind of see it right there underneath that arm he does have that crack but again this is more of a display piece more than anything else and yeah i'm just really happy that i kept this after so long and it's cool to have displayed and here is the final figure in my collection this is like a reprint of the original Luke Skywalker farm boy minifigure from 1999. This is not the official minifigure. I wish I had that one, but I don't. But I wanted to display this one just because Luke is my favorite character. And it's just nice kind of having like the inspiration of the original figure right next to like one of the newer versions. Because that Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi still holds up to this day. So it's cool to kind of have them side by side just to compare them to. But this figure is just amazing. And A New Hope is one of my favorite movies of all time. You also get that really nice back printing. As well as that original um, headpiece and that lighter blonde. Yeah, this is just such an amazing minifigure. Who wouldn't want to display it? And here they all are on the stand. And this was such a fun video to make. I really wanted to do something special for 160 subscribers. I just thought this would be a really nice video to do, like kind of walk down memory lane a little bit. And I will be doing something similar for 200 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. Also, let me know what you guys think of this background. I've been trying to work on my setup a little bit more, just kind of make it look better. So let me know down below if you prefer the, like having the boxes in the background or just the plain wall, because I'm really just trying to figure out what works best right now. I'm also trying to work on the um the setup for the camera because i know that's not perfect yet either i am still trying to figure all this stuff out but yeah let me know what you guys think down below if you guys have any of these minifigures and if you have a display like this at home anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye hey there everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really enjoyed making it and if you haven't already please leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot also check out another one of my videos on my channel i upload every day also, check out my Discord if you haven't already. I post a lot of sneak peeks and stuff on there. I also interact with you guys there. So, it's a lot of fun for everyone. So, if you haven't yet, consider joining. I also have an Instagram now. I'm not sure how frequent posts will be on there. But I will do some stuff here and there. So, check that out if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.